Well, new high tech technology that can track you in an area for hours at a time. It may sound like something out of CSI, but it could be closer than you might think. The surveillance system is made right here in the city and the purpose is to track crimes as they happen. But does it come at a cost of privacy? Our Jason Poor has been researching this story all day today. He is live to explain. Jason. Well, Deb, this new technology is cool, but scary. If you are outside and this stuff is put in place, you will be watched by an eye in the sky. Now, there are some privacy issues concerned with this, but it could help cut down on crime. Here's how it works. A plane circles the city, snapping a picture every second over a 25 mile radius. Police can then use it to track crime. We believe that we can help Dayton lower their crime rate by 30 to 40 percent within a year. That is Ross McNutt, the president of the surveillance company. Our analyst will go to the scene of a crime that's been reported through 911 or other means, will back up time, see what happened there, and follow the people that are at the scene to and from that crime scene. It may sound great if you are a victim of crime, but what about privacy concerns? McNutt says the camera doesn't focus in and people only show up as dots. The only reason we know you're not a bush is you tend to walk along the sidewalk. And the only reason we know you're not a dog is you tend to get into a car and drive. While many are hesitant, Joshua Isabel says you either have privacy or protection. We see all these Amber Alerts that we've been having lately. So I think that might give us a big head start on being able to track people and um, help the community overall. So I think overall it's, a, it's beneficial. Another question, what's next? Maybe the cameras show dots now, but what about later? McNutt says this isn't an issue. If our cameras get better, we want to watch a bigger area that would allow us to see more crime and solve more crime, which is what our objective is. Now, we're not sure when these cameras will show up in Dayton, but we do know the company will be testing them here soon. Live in Dayton, Jason Poor, ABC 22 News.